Assalamualaikum. I am Johur Ahmed. I welcome you all to this presentation about the geological importance of trilobites. Without any further ado, let's start our presentation. Firstly, what is trilobite? It is a hard-shelled creature with segmented body parts which roamed around the world during the Paleozoic era. They were about 1 mm to 70 cm in length depending on the species and were very diverse around the whole world. They were so diverse that under the trilobite class there were 10 orders, 150 families, about 5000 genera and over 20,000 described species. Now, why has this extinct arthropod become so important in geology and geological history? Well, they are one of the most important index fossils of the Paleozoic era, which helps us to determine the age of particular strata. The lack of this arthropod fossil in the Paleozoic formation also indicates various extinction periods. It is used to believe that the trilobites were the first arthropod on the earth, but new fossil evidence found in Cambrian Malvinographic Lagostatin hints that the way there were more ancestors of the prehistorical arthropod, dating back to Precambrian, which might not be as well fossilized as the trilobites. Thus, more and more trilobite fossils are found in the Paleozoic formations. Despite being well fossilized, the fossil records does not preserve soft parts of the trilobite body. The first of the trilobites is believed to be from the early Cambrian. The species in this period are believed to be shallow marine dwellers found in Laurentia, Morocco, Siberia, and Spain. The period is divided into three timelines, early, mid, and late Cambrian. Early Cambrian saw the diversification of trilobites, namely red lichita, spreading across Morocco to South China. Agnostida and Centropleurids started colonizing the deep water and this enabled them to diversify all over the world in the mid Cambrian. In the late Cambrian, Tychoparida was abundant in Laurentia and China alongside Olenida, another clade of trilobite in the Olenate Sea around the Baltica Paleocontinent, which is equivalent to the present day Eurasia. In Ordovician, they reached their highest point of diversification. Shallow water provenance was still seen in Ordovician, but in the late Ordovician, they began to disappear. An important appearance of this timeline is Asafida, comprising of 20% of the described trilobites and containing six superfamilies. In the Silurian period, the trilobites faced a massive extinction due to the massive regression of the sea due to glaciation. 26% of the trilobites died in this extinction. Orders surviving were Phacopida, Lichida, Odontopleurid, and Protita. They moved their habitat to the southern hemisphere in a new province called Malvinographic. Most of the orders in the trilobites went extinct in the Devonian period and the Odontopleurids dominated the sea in this period. The Givatian or the Mid-Devonian extinction wiped out the Lichids. Late Devonian extinction wiped out the Odontopleurids and the Harpetids and the Faminian extinction wiped out the Phacopids. After the Late Devonian extinction, the only living trilobites were the Protida, represented by only four families, which diversified in the inner shelf, carbonate mounds and the outer shelf region. Finally, after surviving through several extinctions, the proteids went extinct in the Great Permian extinction due to the regression of the sea, which damaged their habitat. As we can see from the previous discussions, characteristic orders of the trilobites lived in different periods in Paleozoic era, which is very useful information to determine the age of the Paleozoic formation, enabling us to study the geological history of, two, of a certain formation or a period. Moreover, the habitat of the index trilobite is very crucial data to depict the paleo environment. This allows us to date a formation on a broad scale even without isotope dating method. Moreover, their lateral abundance in the world also helps us with biostratigraphic correlation. Thus, I conclude this presentation by stating that trilobites are one of the most important fossils to study and their significance 
to geological studies is immense. Thank you very much for your patience. May Allah bless us all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.